This morning, Maya picked the shoe up and realised that there's a snake in it. This shoe-loving reptile is a red-bellied black snake. He's um, in the top ten of venomous snakes in the world. Snakes, spiders, stonefish, cone snails, blue-ringed octopus, even the reclusive platypus are packing venom. I think it is often a surprise to find out that the platypus is a venomous mammal. There aren't all that many venomous mammals in the world. Platypuses deliver their venom through a small spur on their heel, and it's thought to be particularly effective at warding off potential rivals during breeding season. Platypuses have venom toxic enough to kill a dog or make a human very sick. So what exactly is venom? And why do so many Australian animals rely on it? So it's a secretion a lot like your saliva, and venom is just a special kind of secretion. And it's composed of individual toxic molecules that we call toxins. Australia is a very infertile land. There's not a lot of food, so it's better to invest in a really superior venom and make sure you get a meal than to do what snakes overseas do, which is sort of, you know, slightly less venomous. And if you miss that one, you might get another one. One of the most dangerous of Australia's venomous killers is the notoriously aggressive eastern brown snake. Brown snakes are always having anxiety attacks. Whenever a large potential predator, like a human, comes close to a brown snake, it just cannot handle it. It freaks out. And the way a snake defends itself is to bite. And there's no question that brown snakes cause the most deaths in Australia. In the search for prey, they're not shy about encroaching on farms and suburban neighbourhoods. Their sophisticated venom is exceptionally powerful. With short fangs, a bite from the eastern brown might only deliver four milligrams of venom. Even that tiny amount is more than enough to kill a human. It's also enough to dispatch almost 200,000 mice. Why do Australian snakes develop such powerful venom? So over hundreds of thousands or millions of years, snakes are feeding on particular prey animals, and there is this arms race going on between the snake and their prey. The prey is becoming ever more resistant to the venom, as the individuals that have resistance are the ones that survive, whereas the snake, the venom is becoming ever more toxic because the snakes with the more toxic venom are the more successful ones and they go on to have more offspring. And so this evolutionary arms race just continues with resistance developing on the one side and ever more toxicity developing on the other. 